how to charge the Model 3 with the mobile charging connector. Actually, before we start, I should look more of the part, right? So let me put on a Tesla shirt. That's better. All right, and uh, you know what? We should use up some battery energy so we can really show off that mobile connector. So let's go. We're back from our drive. We've used up some juice. It's time to show you how to use this. So what we got here is the mobile charging kit. And you might be thinking, well, I have to get like a, a Tesla wall charger before I get my car. No, you don't. This takes care of pretty much everything. Uh, you can take it with you whenever you go driving. And all it is really is this. This is a unit that plugs into the wall. See, looks pretty familiar. And then this other end of the cord, and it's a nice long cord, has this, which plugs into your Tesla. So you might be asking, well, that's fine, Zach, if I've got a 110 outlet, say 15 amps, but uh, what if I don't? Well, here's the answer. They're pretty smart at Tesla. You pull this off, and you can replace it with different types. Here I've got a 220. You can plug that in here. And now this can plug into a 220 outlet. A big question I get a lot is how fast is it gonna charge my car? And that really depends on how much juice that you're feeding the car. So let's go back to our 110 15 amp outlet. And this is, I think, where a lot of people get confused. I start talking about 110 and 15 amps. It is confusing. We don't usually talk about outlets. We just plug things into them. But this is the most common outlet in the United States. This is 15 amps. 110 volts and this is the the least amount of energy you're going to be able to put into your tesla and so we're showing you on the screen now how many miles you can get when you use this the next step up is a 20 amp 110 volt outlet and you have a lot of those in your house you might have it in your garage and for that you're going to need a slightly different connector so you'll pull this off and you will go to the tesla store and buy that connector pop it in here plug it into your wall and that's going to give you this much range per hour into your Model 3. Next step up, and even better, is a 220 outlet. Also depends on how many amps that you're feeding to that outlet. Um, but let's start with a 20 amp 220 outlet. And that's gonna give you this much range per hour. Then as we bump up to a 30 amp, you get this much range. 40 amp, you get this much range. So you can see that that's quite a lot of juice that you're getting out of your outlet. All right, so let's show you how this works. Maybe you got into back to your garage and you would just wanna plug in your car for the night. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take an extension cord that I've got plugged into my garage. Plug that in there. If you notice, uh, the Tesla sign here is lit up in green, which means that it's happy. Now, if you were to plug this in to an outlet that say, didn't have its ground, a lot of times on my extension cords, I break these off because I'm doing something stupid. If you do that, it's not going to be happy. It's going to be a different color and it's going to let you know that it's not happy. So make sure you have a grounded extension cord. Then you can take the other end of this. You're going to walk over to your charge port, hit that little button there, and you'll see that this is ready for charging. That little light tells you that you're ready for charging. This sticks right into your Tesla, it turns blue for a second, and then when it's happy, it's going to turn green to let you know that it's charging. And the rate that that's flashing tells you how fast, how much juice it's putting into the car. So then if you follow me here, go ahead, hop right in. You'll see that it's telling us what we're charging. And it's telling us right now that we're putting in 12 amps at 110 volts. And it's charging at about one mile an hour. Now it's gone up to two miles an hour. So it takes a minute or two before it kind of settles in. 
And then it's gonna tell you, if you're trying to get to that line, how long it's gonna take you. So at this current rate that we're charging, it's gonna take seven hours and 15 minutes. That is a long time. This is the worst case for this charging because this is, you're basically putting practically no juice into the car. So this is, you'd only want to do this in the worst circumstance. So let's say you've had your car for a couple weeks and you're now thinking to yourself, all right, I understand how charging works. I would really like uh, to charge it, but I don't want to have to pack this up every time. It's kind of a pain. I have to put it back in the bag. And so I'd really like to have a charger mounted to the wall. All right, so the, your next decision then is whether you want to get a Tesla high power wall charger that you're seeing here or whether you wanna get a more general purpose, a J1772 charger. Now, all that means is it's a level two charger that can charge any electric car. If you're thinking about a Tesla charger, you can go to this link right here where we show you how to install the Tesla wall charger. And there's a lot of benefits to it. First of all, it has this on it, so you don't need any adapter. This goes right into your Tesla every time. You don't have to worry about losing an adapter. This is all you need. Um, also, if you decide to get another high power wall charger in the future, they talk to each other. So you can actually get them to share power smartly between themselves which is cool if you're thinking of expanding down the road but if you're thinking of getting a general purpose charger here's a problem you might be running into so here I've got a J1772 this is a Bosch charger so this is for like when Jesse comes over with this leaf and if we look at the charger here we say oh let's just plug it in oh wait a minute that doesn't fit that is not the same as that the good news is your car comes with a J1772 to Tesla adapter. So on this end, it's the same as this, plugs right into that. And on this end, it's the same as the Tesla adapter. And it now can plug into your car. And as we see here, it's now happy, it's turned green and it's charging. So the only downside with the general purpose charger is that you're gonna always have to have your Tesla adapter and you don't wanna lose it. And what a lot of Tesla drivers do is they find the one spot in the car that they always put it into. I always keep it in my door pocket so I know it's there. That way, every time you go out for dinner or something like that, you know you've got it with you. Some people store it in their mobile charging connector bag whatever you like. Well, I hope we cleared up today some of the confusion about uh, how to charge your Model 3 at home. Uh, we talked about the mobile charging kit and high power wall chargers and all that. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. We'll try and get you those answers. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos so that other people will get to know about them. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Now you know.